Hello everyone, good to see you. Alright, let's get started. So, welcome to my other live stream today. It's the uh, 9th of November 2020 on Monday. I hope you're having a great Monday today. So, let's get started. Um, Alright, so today, it's Monday, so I run the Flex test for today to present um, one of the Ichimoku strategies to you. Um, so for those who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a full-time Forex trader in Japan, Tokyo. And in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about three concepts of my trade strategies. One, first, how to simplify the market analysis and how to be time efficient. And most importantly, how to become a non-losing trader over time so that uh, you can keep increasing profit over time, over the month or the year basis. And also, I have been um, using Ichimoku Kinkohyo for the last five years as one of my main trade strategies. And I have been sharing the extensive knowledge through the original books in English in this community so that you can learn the essence of Ichimoku here in this community. So today, Based on this Ichimoku original book, I will talk about the Sanyaku Koten and Sanyaku Gyakuten signal, um, one of the most important and one of the most powerful um, indications for the market direction. So let's get started now. Let's see who's here first. All right, I see um, lots of people coming in today. All right, Josie, thank you for joining. And uh, the next one, how do I pronounce? Um, mi uh, mi Miawano, sorry. <laughs> Miawano, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And in Kulan, Prander, Vincent, good to see you as always. And Greg, Enk, thank you for joining. Good to see you as well. Aditya, Josh, thank you for joining as well. Good afternoon. Good evening from Japan. All right, WM and Hibiscus T, thank you for joining as well. From Venezuela, thank you for joining. Good to see you today. All right, and I hope you're having a great trading week last week and this week due to some US election, right? Still undergoing. Um, the market is kind of rough, ranging on these Forex pairs, but kind of rough in the stock market and indexes. So always have to be mind on the risk management strategy. All right, and let's see. Ivana, thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right, nice to see you again as well. Yeah, hope the best trade for this week as well. Yep, that's true. All right, and Freddy, thank you for joining. And Roy, good to see you. Um, actually, I took a medicine because I don't feel well today, so my throat is kind of, you know, kind of uh, kind of rough. But hopefully, I can get through the live stream today. <laughs> I think uh, my voice is kind of, you know, sound sounds strange, but hopefully, I can get it through. All right, um, let's see. Roy and Mac, thank you for joining from Austria. Good to see you as always. I hope you're having a great day today in Austria as well. And Mr. Finantis, thank you for joining as well. All right, it's always nice to see everybody here on the chat and say hi to everyone. Just one by one to say hi, to greet. Uh, let's see. Kayana, thank you for joining as well. All right, Nadar. And um, thank you for joining from uh, Tunisia. Thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. And uh, Javad, good to see you. I hope um, the COVID case is still, you know, um, still in uh, under control in your countries. Javad, thank you for joining. Good to see you. I heard that North part of uh, Japan is right now increasing the COVID case. So I hope everybody is safe and healthy in this community. All right, I Joe um, Joe Daniel, thank you for joining from Malaysia. Good to see you. And checkmate, thank you for joining as always. Good to see you. And Jojo and Danish, thank you for joining as well, as well. Good to see you. All right, so let's get started now. So I will run the Flex test for today. And if you wonder what I talk about in in the future lives and past lives. You can just come to my website and scroll down a little bit 
and then you can find the whole schedule uh, of my live streams on this YouTube channel. So today is the 9th of November and I will talk about the Sanyak Koten and Gyakuten signals by running the Flex Tetra 4. And tomorrow I will talk about the Ichimoku N wave and the day after you talk I talk about the essence of multiple time frame analysis and goes on. So let's focus on Sanyak Koten Gyakuten signals. And first I will run the tester now. So here is Flex Tester 4. And uh, this is not the real chart. This is the back testing tool, back testing software. And this is a market back in 2010 on Euro USD pair. And now this is forming. Uh, this is a May in 2010. And I will run the, the tester one by one. I will move the candles one by one so that um, you see the progress of the market and you can ident identify when exactly the Steinke Koten Gyakuten signals happen in the back testing chart. And then later on, we're gonna look at a couple of uh, real charts so that you can apply the same strategies on the real charts. So let's go for it. Um, let's run the tester now. I will just move the candles one by one. So for those who are new to Ichimoku, um, Sanyaku Koten signal is uh, the strongest indication for the bullish trend and Sanyaku Gyakuten is the bearish trend, uh, the beginning of the bearish trend. So, and uh, Sanyaku Koten signal can be captured by three steps, three steps. So before running the tester here, let me present uh, what Sanyaku Koten is from the book that I wrote. This is the Ichimoku basic master book that is available in my Ichimoku community. But here I present uh, the Sanyaku Koten signal. So first you must find the Koten of Kinko Hyo. And Kinko Hyo means um, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. In this chart example, uh, Tenkan Sen is a blue one and the Kijun Sen is green line. And you can see the gold cross over here. When you see the gold cross of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, that's one of the signals for Sanyaku Koten. And the second signal you might want to find is the Koten of Chikospan. I mean Chikospan breakout of the candlesticks. So that happens here. Chikospan is a yellow line in my chart color settings and that's when uh, Chikospan breaks the candles upwards. That's the second confirmation. And the third confirmation, you see the Kumo breakout. Uh, Kumo is actually this area, and the gray area is called uh, Kumo here. Uh, this is uh, composed of uh, two lines, Senko Span A and Senko Span B. And when you find the candlestick breaks up of the Senko Span B here, this is actually the Sanyaku Koten signal. So the order is very important. Once again, you must find the um, Koten of Kin Kohyo first. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross should happen first. And then Chikospan Breakout should happen next. And then in the end, you find the Kumo Breakout and you can, you can expect the market continue to go up this way. Is it clear so far? I hope it is. This is, I think it's pretty simple. But when you look at the real charts, you might get confused or you might get some kind of second thoughts. So make sure you understand the order is very important of Ichimoku, Sanyaku Koten or Gyakuten signal. Sometimes I read the article that says, you know, as soon as you see the Kumo breakout, that's Sanyaku Koten or Gyakuten signal. But actually that's not true. You have to use five lines of Ichimoku at always. And you have to find this order. This three order is very important. So please keep in mind as I run the tester soon. And let's see, I see more traders coming in. Thermopole, thank you for joining. As always, Zero Pia, good to see you. And Prof, thank you for joining as well. And Yoron, thank you for joining from the Netherlands. Good to see you. Yoron is actually the moderator for me, for my channel. So, and you can find his interaction here. You can enjoy his uh, self-interaction. And also there is another moderator, Maru. Mr. Maru-san is actually 
another moderator, so I hope he's gonna come in sometime. And Karim, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Alright, so... You get the order now, right? So... The order is important. First, second, and third. And let's see if that's gonna happen in the market. So let's run the tester now. So now, um, as you can see here, um, just to re recap, this um, blue line is the um, Tenkan Sen. And green line is simply called um, Kijun Sen. And this is the Kumo here. It's the Kumo. I would just put K here. And Chikou Span is shown on the yellow line in the back here. That's Chikou Span. All right, so first, uh, what do you look for? Can you recall? Anybody on the chat? Can you recall uh, whether uh, Kumo Breakout or Chikospan Breakout or Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, which one should come first? Can you type the answer now? I just wanted to make sure that you understand the concept well. Let me drink a cup of water. I get very thirsty. I drank some medicine today because I don't feel well, so. Um, Alright, uh, Valentino, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Alright, and John says, uh, looking at the USDJPY daily chart. Alright, we'll check out the real chart later on. Alright, so let's see. I get a couple of uh, answers now. Uh, gold cross, gold cross, gold cross. All right. Yep, that's right. All right, and gold cross, ten counts and cross first. Yep, that's true. You're all right. Yeah, you're right. So first, you have to find the ten counts and kijuns and gold cross like this. Okay. So let's see if it happens or not. Let me move on the candles. So as time goes by, okay, the market goes down. So this is basically bearish trend. It's bearish. So let's see. At some point, the market should consolidate and breaks the Kijun Sen upper. So let's see. Let me move forward until it happens. <clears throat> so it's now consolidating. Okay, now it's still going down. So let me run a little bit more. Okay, now we see the candlestick is breaking the Kijun Sen upwards now. So this is one of the indications for the market to be retracing all the way to the Kumo now. But it may retrace backwards. I mean, it may consolidate for a while in the range. So we'll see which way the market is going to move. Right? And in this kind of case, you never jump in. I mean, you have to find the confirmations to take trades. A trade should be logical and objective and rational. So let me just move on. So now the price is going up. All right, Kijun Sen overlaps with the candles now. So that's the con that's the confirmation for the range market where right? you don't want to take it in trades. So let's move on. All right, now I see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. You see? Uh, Tenkan Sen broke through the Kijun Sen upwards this way. This is Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. But still, you don't want to look for buy chance yet because the market might go down. Right? Because Chikou Span is still overlapping the candles in the past. So the market might go down or it might go up and we don't know which way it's going. So the best option you can take is do nothing in this kind of market. So let's keep on going. And all right, I can see Maru Sen's here. Good to see you. All right, and Kayon, thank you for the reminder as always. If you liked today's live stream already, please press a good button before you leave so that it keeps me going every day. All right, yep, yep. So, um, yeah, let me see. So now we have Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. So what do we look for next? Let me ask another question. So once we have Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, then what do we look for next? What do we expect the market to go up continuously? 
It's gonna be either Kumo Breakout or Chikospan Breakout. Just to make sure that everybody is on the same page. All right, um, let's see. Hi, Grace. Thank you for joining from Kenya. Good to see you. It's always nice to see traders from the world. It's very nice. All right, Lens. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Yep, I run the Ichimoku community while I'm uh, waiting for the reply. I mean, the, the answers. Um, I run the Ichimoku community, if you have already noticed it. Um, you can come to my website and click on the link that Maru-san uh, showed it here, or you can click on the link below the description, and you can find this Ichimoku community. And in here, I um, present you know, a couple of uh, perks here. I mean, lots of perks to join. <laughs> you know, This is only like a 3,000 yen per monthly basis, so this is about like a 29, 28, 29 uh, USD per monthly and you get all these perks you get a free download books Ichimoku basic master book that I just showed it to you earlier and also there is an Ichimoku basic theories book that I talk about wave theory and time theory and price theory that's for free you can get it in this community and then uh, you know you get lots and lots of other perks too so yeah, if you're interested in the uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, then uh, this is the one for you. So let's see. Let me come back to some uh, answers now. Chikospan break price. Yes, Chikospan break. Come to support level and up. Yeah, it could be. But just focus on the Ichimoku lines. Right, gold cross of Chikospan and candles. Yep, that's true. I think it's gone up, right? But at this rate, you know, uh, we don't know which way it's going. The price is now going down. So it might go down all the way to the recent low. So we'll see if the market keeps going up or not. So, yep, you're right. So next, we look for, we wait for the Chikospan break upwards this way. As a second confirmation for the Sanyaku Koten signal. All right, John says, so from the golden cross is when I will get out of the trade, right? Um, you have to get out of the trade when you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. So when you sell in these points in the past, then um, when you start to see this uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, this will be the exit timing. Because it might go up continuously. So... Yeah, so let's move on a little bit more and see if we can find the Chikospan breakout next. When I find it, then I will stop it. So let's move on. Okay, now Chikospan is overlapping with the candles still. Markets ranging. Kijun Sen flat and markets ranging. So now I see Chikospan breakout here. Exactly on this candlestick. Chikospan went above the candles. So this is a second confirmation for the potential uptrend. And then what we can look for is wait for is the Kumo breakout. When you see down Kumo, like a bearish Kumo here, the Senkospan B is the upper part and Senkospan A is the lower part of the Kumo. So when you find the, uh, the candlestick breaks, the Senkospan B Right, not the Senkospan A, but Senkospan B uppers, this is where you can buy. Right, this is where you can look for buy chance. Right? I do the I do it in lower time frames to capture the trading edges, but this is a timing where you can look for buy chance from here. But if the market go down this way, I mean uh, the Kumo is very thick here in this part, so it might be resisted by the Kumo and go down. So let's see if it happens or not. Okay, market gets into the Kumo now. But because of the thickness of the Kumo, it might be go down. So let's see. Let's see if the candle penetrates the Kumo uppers. Senkospan B uppers. Alright. Hey Javed, thank you for joining. And Pete, good to see you. 
All right, I got the question, um, and where do we put our stop loss below A or B? As for the stop loss, you better put it um, on uh, below the Kijun Sen. That will be fine when you look for the buy chance. But let me just keep going. Okay, now I find that Kumo breakout, you see? The market went through the Kumo and we find the Kumo breakout exactly on this day. So this is the right order. Um, as I showed it to you on this Ichimoku basic master book, um, this is the right order. So Koten of King Kohyo and Chikospan break and then Kumo breakout. And that's exactly what's happening here. And then we can expect the market continue to go up this way. Alright, so let me place a buy. Well, actually, this is nice thing about the Forex tester for is that we can put the buy order here. This is, you know, not the real account, of course, but, um, you know, we can kind of uh, experiment with it. So buy here. In this case, I put the stop loss below the recent low on this end wave. So there's an end wave like this. Oops, hold on. There's an end wave like this. So I put the stop here below the recent low and I expect the market continue to go up this way. Does that make sense everyone? I hope it does. Hi Ken Lee, thank you for joining. It's been a while. Good to see you again. And Stavros, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. So let me move the stop to the recent low over here. And let me keep going. All right, let me keep going and see if the market goes up afterwards. So there is a doji candle here next day, but I won't exit yet. I expect the market go up. Okay, now Kijun Sen breakout. Ah, uh, sorry, Tenkan Sen breakout, but still holding this buy. Let's see. Um, Alright, so now there is a breakout of the recent high. Over here, there's a breakout of the recent high. And also, I find the continuous bullish in waves. So, I find the continuous bullish in waves like this. And this is when I move the, this stop loss to the next low. So that I can uh, lower the risk in this particular trade. So, I simply drag the stop to the recent low like this. And I st still expect the market to go up on this bullish in waves. All right, and uh, okay, I got other question from uh, Cool Line. It says, uh, "Do you have a uh, have to look for Sank Kote in fifteen or five minute time frame?" Um, I recommend you to take Sank Kote Gakuten signals in a daily chart. In a daily chart, uh, but. Because uh, you know, in lower time frames, there are more noises in the market. It spikes up and down, especially like these exotics or these minor pairs. It spikes up and down so sharply, so you might not gonna be able to catch the Sanyaku Koten signal beautifully on lower time frames. So I recommend you to take it on the daily chart or four-hour chart, or maybe higher time frames would be better as my advice. So let me keep going. And once the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, or once I find the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross, then that will be the exit timing on this one single time frame. So let me just keep going. Okay, Kijun Sen moves up, uh, the market keeps going up. Once I find the next pushback, for example, there's a pullback here. So once I find the next pushback, then that's when I move this stop loss to break even so that I won't lose anything at all. So let me move on. Alright, so now breakout. Alright, so this is when I move that stop loss to break even. And then it becomes either break even or win game now. All right, even the market comes backwards this way, this is the break even line. 
I get to break even and I continue to look for other buy or sell chances in the future. So let me keep moving until I exit this position. Okay, now market is retracing backwards. Okay, now so there's a big spike downwards. Wow, it was very big. I think this was due to some news, but on this day, the market went drop all the way down like a 300 pips. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, I never expected this, but you know, hopefully, I had the break-even line. So even the market spikes downwards, I won't lose at all. And I keep watching the market. I keep looking for other trade chances in this way. But um, yeah, here I hopefully you get the sense of how you can capture the correct Sanyaku Koten signal in this demonstration. So once again, the order is important, right? Make sure you have the order, right order. As per this Ichimoku original book says, as Goichi Hosoda says, the order is important of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And sometimes, you know, Chikospan break happens first, or sometimes, um, you know, a Kumo breakout and a Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen cross happens at the, same, at, at the same time. But in that case, you do not take these because that's not in the right order. Make sure you get the right order of this Sanyak Koten signal is the secret of uh, which one you should depend on. So, yeah, let me keep moving a little bit more. I'm just curious how the market is going to move afterwards. So, let's see if it goes down or not. Um, Alright, so it keeps going down. And once it keeps going down, then what you can look for next is the dead cross, right? The dead cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen should happen first. And then Chikospan breakout should happen next. And then Kumo breakout. And then you can look for sell afterwards. See? And until it happens, basically I just wait. So this is where we have to be patient. Sometimes, you know, we tend to look for some trading edges while, while, while it's going down. But um, yeah, make sure you have the confirmations first. All right, uh, Pandavana, thank you for joining. Bolaji, yeah, it's a big break even, yeah. <laughs> Realistically speaking, I will be taking out already like on this day. I will look at the lower time frames and you know, exit before they hit the break even. But this is just a demonstration. So you can just learn how I, you know, get this break-even trace. So let me let me move on a little bit more. So let's see. Okay, so now we find Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross. Tenkan Kijun dead cross happens. So the next thing I will be be waiting for is the Chikospan break. Until the Chikospan break happens, the market might go up. To Kijun Sen, or it might break upwards the Kijun Sen. So, this is where you don't want to take trace. So, let me move on a little bit more. Okay, now the market is sloping down. And let's see. I can see that the Chikou Span is not below the candles. So, I would say that this was the breakout of the Chikou Span. Chikou Span breakout is actually the breakout of the Chikou Span here and Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross. So the only thing that we should wait for is the Kumo breakout. Then we can place a sell here. And once again, in this case, the Kumo is very thick here. It's got a thickness to it, so it might be resist, uh, supported by the Kumo. So we'll see if it happens or not as well. All right, ESR, thank you for joining. And Avesta, good to see you. And Maria, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Yep, it's all right. If you're late, you can just join. And if you miss some parts, then you can always, you know, look back because everything is saved on the archive. So let's move on. Let's see if the market will break the Kumo downwards. Okay, now still in the Kumo, 
so when the price is in the Kumo, this is like you know the airplane being in a storm. So you don't want to look for buy or sell chances. It should be volatile the market. It's kind of dangerous to touch right now. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, now somehow the market went down below the Kumo here after some range in market. And in this case, um, I was about to take a sell, but if you look at the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen right here, they are almost gold crossing. I actually, they are touching over here. And this is when I, when I don't place a sell because the market might go up after that Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross. So I would wait for a little while until it goes down. Okay, so yeah, the market went up because we find the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross over here. So that was very tricky, very tricky. But I think that was a good example of um, as to when you shouldn't take a sell at the Kumo breakout because Tenkan Sen and Kyun Sen were overlapping at that timing. All right, Blackwater, thank you for joining. Yep, you have a great week too. Hopefully, we we catch some trends after the U.S. election. Hopefully. So yeah, so now we find that Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross, right? So what we should look for next is the Chikou Span breakout. So Chikou Span looks to be still inside the candles, so it should come above the candles. We already have Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross as first confirmation. Chikou Span break should come next, and then at, after the Kumo break, that will be the buy chance also. I hope it makes sense. So this is a reality when you look for Sanyaku Koten signals, right? When the market moves, sometimes it happens, you know, uh, consecutively like this. So you have to switch your mindset whether it's going down or up, whether to take sell or buy as the market moves on. Okay, Keiyun says, uh, this is uptrend for me, all right? So you think it's gonna go up. So let's see if it happens. Well, actually the market is still inside the Kumo, so it may go down, right? Um, never trace based on the gut feeling or never trade based on the intuitive trace, right? Always the trade should be logical and objective. So logically speaking, we have to wait for the Kumo breakout and then we can look for buy chance afterwards. All right, Stavros says, um, just one question, K, if I may. When Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen overlap and then separate, this is considered a crossing. Yes, that's true. Yeah, sometimes Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen exactly overlaps, but when they separate, that's exactly when the cross happens, as per definition of the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, yeah, Kuran, um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross is when Tenkan Sen comes above the Kijun Sen. Dead Cross is vice versa. When Tenkan Sen comes below Kijun Sen, that's the Dead Cross. So, let's move on a little bit more. Okay, the market goes up. We find the Chikou Span break here. So let's see, looks like it's going up. Yep, so breakout of the Kumo here. So this is Sanyaku Koten signal with the correct order, correct Sanyaku Koten signal. You see, first Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross, Chikospan break, and then Kumo breakout. I was expecting that this is not gonna be the right order, but actually it happened it to be, so. I will just place a sell, I mean buy right now. This is a buy chance. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, let me just place a buy for now. Just to, uh, to just to make it realistic more, you know, I will just place a buy. In this case, the stop loss will be below the recent low. So it's gonna be at this level below the recent low 
and I expect the market go up this way. So let's see if it happens or not. So I just move quickly. Oh, there was a big spike up. It was a nice indication. So let me just keep moving a little bit more. Okay, now it keeps keeps going up this way. Broke the recent high upwards this way. Nice indication. And once I see the next pushback, once again, as I confirm the next pushback, then I put the break even line. So let's see if it happens next. Okay, so there's a pushback. See, there's um. This was like the whole time I wave, but I can find that pushback and the market broke even the recent high upwards this way. So this is when I move the stop loss to break even. And once again, you know, I hope this kind of market doesn't happen this time. <laughs> you know, there was a big spike and uh, the, my position got taken out with the break even. But hopefully it, uh, it doesn't happen this time. If it does, then I will just exit with the break even and keep looking for the trade chances. And that's what I do. And that's what I look for every day on any pairs. I hope it makes sense to everyone so far. Uh, Fun says, um, I have a question. How many strategies, how many strategies are you using for your trading? Um, I use, um, how to say, I just use one strategy. I mean, um, I combine different strategies and present it as a KTS, case trading strategy. And Ichimoku is actually part of my strategies. Okay, and Aditya says, um, if Sanyaku Koten confirm and Kumo down is still valid. Yes, it's still valid. And you can expect the Kumo twist upwards. Yeah, in this case, the Kumo twisted upwards this way. So yeah, you can keep holding this buy in this case. So let me keep holding it until I exit. So let's just keep going. The market continues to go up. And once the market goes down, after it's confirmed the reverse end wave, then that will be the exit timing. I think the distance to from the price to the Kijun Sen is too, too wide in this case. So it's not really uh, realistic to wait for the Kijun Sen break for uh, exit timing. And now I find the next pushback, so I will trial the profit like this. And I fixed the profit of um, 287 pips of profit, fixed, and then I keep trading this way. So let me keep going. Okay, wow, it keeps going up. Okay, so now it looks to be consolidating. Still, the market is supported by this um, Tenkan Sen, so we'll see if it continues to go up. Alright, now, okay, so there was a big spike here. <laughs> big spike. So, um, and I find that the Kumo Kijun Sen became flat and the Senko Span B flat um, and also uh, Senko Span A's up. But once I find the Senko Span B flat and the Kijun Sen flat, this is exactly where I exit. So I will exit here. This was run. Uh, this was about uh, pips wise. This was uh, if I close the position here. This was um, six hundred and forty pips of profit. So it was a nice trade. So yeah, when it comes to target, I don't set the price target, but I exit when the market retraces backwards, basically. So that's the exit timing for me. With this order, we're not looking at the Kumo twist. Um, yeah, we don't really look at the Kumo twist in this case. Simply at the Kumo breakout, I took a buy. So let me exit on this position. 
with a 640 pips of profit. Um, oh, before closing it, let me just show you one important concept of mine is the fish head and tail um, you know um, example so usually I say you know you don't have to eat the fish you don't have to eat the head and tail of the fish just eat the body part because that's where the juice is so this is perfect example for taking the body part itself because I took it by here so so to speak this is the head of the fish let's say sorry about my poor handwriting let's say this is a fish a head of the fish and you get the body part um how do i draw <laughs> hold on let me redo um so let's see fish right fish so i would just i would just, let me just start from the tail right so this was tail tail part and the head comes like this and i get the um the tail again so here over here it's a tail <laughs> yeah and also over here this is the head part let me uh put, put the put the eye the fish this is the head part and this is the body part right this is the body part so you know you don't you don't want to take the tail or you don't want to take the head of the fish but the body part is where the juice is right this is the most delicious part that you want to take out every time you take trays and ichimoku sanyaku koten signal can capture the great you know timing to get the body part where the juice is in the market <laughs> Hopefully you get the idea of it by this uh, poor handwriting. <laughs> I use a mouse pad. So um, yeah, I hope um, you get the idea now. Yeah, Stavros. Uh, oh, Prof, you're welcome. Yep. All right, Bolaji. All right, good mark. <laughs> Kayon says, uh, Mr. K, I'm learning every day you're teaching. Thank you, Mr. K. I'm ha very happy. I use Forex Tester 4, all right. Yep, yep. Forex Tester 4 is a great tool that I recommend to use. It saves a lot of time when you backtest. <laughs> all right, Pete. Pete's got some uh, emojis there. So um, yeah, in from this reason, I don't I don't place the fixed target, um, you know, uh, fixed target price because the market can extend all the way up or down. So the idea for me is instead of taking the target, um, I exit when the market finished the uptrend. And how I capture the finish, the end of the uptrend in this case is when I see Kijun Sen flat and Chikospan, uh, sorry, um, Senkospan B flat. When I see Kijun Sen flat and Senkospan B flat, this is when the market is uh, you know, has no trend, no uptrend anymore. So that means the market might come back to Kijun Sen or it might come all the way to the Kumo here. So this is when I exit. As per I, I call it, this is a, uh, you know, tail of the fish. So hopefully you get the idea now. So um, yeah, let me come back to the real charts and let's see if we can find any sanyaku signals on this current forex pairs in some markets today all right i've got a couple of more questions uh prof says um uh flavio i should call flavio says um how much money do you consider the minimum to start in forex i recommend you to start at least uh, 1000 usd if the account is too small, then it makes it very difficult to, uh, you know, money management or risk management will become very difficult. Uh, so at least take uh, 1000 USD, then should be fine. And Karim says, um, could you please say if the only price 
the Chiko break the Kumo, but Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are still in the Kumo. Can we buy or should we wait until Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen also breaks the Kumo? Um, it doesn't matter whether the Chiko Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen breaks the Kumo or not. You can just find the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross in the Kumo, and you can take this as one of the confirmations. Yeah. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross can happen in the Kumo or below the Kumo. Um, it doesn't matter. So let's check a couple of uh, real charts now. So let me just swipe this one to the second panel. And also let me remove this book. All right. So here is a market and here is Euro USD. And now this is a daily chart and at a glance this is ranging. So unfortunately we don't find any crosses here. We see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen are overlapping. Let me enlarge and let me um, delete the candles now. Um, I think uh, yeah, I think um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen completely overlapping. So we have to wait until they separate to become gold cross. But I can find the Chikospan breakout is already happening. right? Uh, the Chikospan is above the candles now. But um, since we don't see the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross yet, this Chikospan break might become fake and it might go down this way. And we see Kumo breakout also, but this, might, this might, uh, can be also become fake. Because Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross is not happening yet. And simply Kumo is flat the whole time. So the market can come back to the Kumo in this kind of situation. This is Y wave structure. Uh, we find the Y wave structure here, expanding range. So this is volatile and there is no direction to the market in this case. Um, 1000 USD, what leverage? Uh, leverage wise, I recommend you to use only up to like 20 leverage. Uh, risk 2% should be fine. So every, every trade you take, it should be $20 to the stop loss. Alright, Avesta says, um, do you know by any chance the ticker of the blue gas, please? Um, I don't know. To be honest, sorry, I don't know. I don't look at the blue gas, so maybe you can Google and find it. I only look at gold and US oil, crude oil, I lo only look at it, and also silver also, but I don't look at the, the, the blue gas. So let me keep moving. Um, let me just scroll back a little bit and see if we find any gold cross in the past on this USD, Euro USD pair. Um, let's see. The market looks like looks to be consolidating now. So, oh yeah. So here is I think the nice example of this a gold cross. I mean the Sanyaku Koten signal. We see. Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross happen first, and then Chikol Span Break happens next, exactly somewhere here, and then Kumo Break happened in the end. So this was the nice, I mean the perfect Sanku Koten signal with the right order, and then the market continued to go up this way, all the way. But right now, what's happening is once again. The Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross is not happening yet, so we better not to take trades on this one. I mean, we can expect the market go up, so better to stay away, in my opinion. All right, yeah, let's check uh, check out the gold. Looks like it's volatile now, but um, oh yeah, on gold I find the same setup here. Um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen overlapping. No trace. Kumo flat, no trace. Chikospan breakout might become fake and it might go down. The price is in the Kumo anyways, so no trace in this case. 
Do you consider entering a trade in one hour with regards to Ichimoku? Um, yeah, one hour would be okay. I use Ichimoku in one hour chart, but not the lower time frames. I think one hour should be the lowest time frame that you can use Ichimoku. Because, as I said before, lower time frames are more noises in the market. So, Ichimoku might not gonna work because the lines are delayed. Oh Roy, I missed your question, sorry. Uh, you're using daily chart to enter the trade. Does this mean Sanko Koten Gyakuten is ideally a swing trader? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the Forex Tester for demonstration, so I only took the daily chart. But realistically, I look at the multiple time frames to buy. So, yeah, yeah. I look at the multiple time frames. I look at the lower time frames to capture the trading edges every time. Okay, can you check Nikkei 225? Oh, Nikkei 225 is spiking up now. <laughs> Let me just show it to you real quick. Yeah, this is just going up and interestingly, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen has been overlapping as it's spiking up now. So let me cancel the candlesticks again. And you see they are exactly overlapping. So this is not the gold cross yet. Uh, what we can expect here is that once the market consolidate, once the market starts to consolidate, then first Kijun Sen will become flat. And uh, Tenkan Sen might still go up this way. And this step right here. And that will be the gold cross. But this is just overlapping, so no, not really a good timing to look for buy chance. This is overheated market, so it might go down. Yeah, Nikkei is essentially going up right now because you know Nikkei two two five is actually you know uh, it's got the twenty two hundred twenty five stock markets, but um, basically uh, the market is ruled by like a three or four tech companies, tech companies in Japan. So SoftBank is one of the major, um, you know, uh, market um, companies on this Nikkei. And also fast retailing, if you know Uniqlo, Uniqlo is a clothing uh, retail company. And that's actually a big part of this Nikkei. And because of these stock markets going up, that's why Nikkei is just going up. But it doesn't mean that the Japanese economy is g getting better. It doesn't mean that. So anyways, um, let me check a couple of other pairs now. How about EURJPY? Alright, so EURJPY is still, um, you know, it's just flat ranging. Um, but we saw this Kumo breakout also. I think this was a good example. Let me move the candles backwards a little bit more. There is a back testing tool on this trading view. So let me go back like here. And over here we find a Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen did cross. First confirmation, Chikospan break. Second confirmation, and at the Kumo breakout, we want to look for sell as a third confirmation. And as it moves on, it happened actually. There's a Kumo breakout, so you sell here. And in this case, this is kind of interesting, but the market retraced backwards to the Kumo later on. So in this case, it was a fake Sanyaku Koten Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. So you want to exit soon once the market goes backwards. So, you know, Ichimoku Sanyaku Koten signal, Gyakuten signal are not 100%. Of course, nothing is 100% in this market, but um, you can capture the nice breakout. And in this case, I was also watching the market real time, and I was expecting the market go down this way. But as the market goes up, moves up to the Kumo, then I decided not to look for sell chance anymore. So this was a nice example of the fake a breakout of this Sanyaku Gyakuten signal.
Yeah, gold is so scary. Yeah, gold is scary. I think um, we better stay away in the gold. <laughs> yeah, um, it's got the effect by the news. And also silver too. I think silver is also volatile. There's no trend on the silver. So I don't really watch the silver or gold these days. All right, um, John says, I use the daily to spot the overall trend and let's say it's uptrending and enter using the one hour. Um, does it mean if I see a sell opportunity in the uh, one hour, um, I shouldn't enter the trade? Um, yeah, if you find the uptrend in one hour, then you shouldn't look for the sell chance in that case. Yeah, you better look for buy chance in that case. All right, and Roy, you're welcome. Black Blackwater, you're welcome too. So let's let me check one more pair: AUD NZD, uh, AUD USD, sorry. And AUD USD. Oh yeah, this is also flat. I mean, the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is also overlapping now. I think we have lots of overlaps of this uh, King Ko Hyo, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. So um, yeah, I wouldn't look for buy chance yet in this case. The Kumo's flat anyways, right? Kumo's flat anyways. So this Chikospan break might become fake. It might go down. The price might come back to Kumo. Not a decent uptrend in this case. All right, Jojo says um, G GBP NZD. And Ivan says GBP NZD, Sayaku Gyakuten signal. On the daily chart and forward chart. All right, let's check GPP NZD, and we will be ending the live afterwards. So, all right, GPP NZD. I don't have it on the list, so let me put that one, put that one up. GPP NZD. Um, okay, so here is um, the daily chart, and yep. So, okay, in this case, this was also tricky. So once again, here's a daily chart, GPP NZD pair, and we find the Kumo breakout. But at the Kumo breakout, Tenkan Sen, Kyun Sen, Gold Cross, sorry, Dead Cross was happening at the same time. So if I go back the chart a little bit more, like uh, let me go back the chart and uh, let's see if we find if you see the market like this on this day, this was the uh, 3rd of November. So Chikou span is still overlapping. So let me move the candles one by one. And see here at the right, exactly here on this day, the next day, 4th of November, at this Kumo breakout, the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross happened at the, at the same time. And also if you can see the Chikou span here, this is still overlapping. Right, this is not breaking the candles downwards yet. So this becomes a fake breakout and the market might go up to the Kumo in this case afterwards. And if we skip to the today's candlestick, yeah, it's, it's gradually moving down. But um, yeah, that Chikou Span break happens already today, but it might come back up upwards. So we'll see um, if it happens. So in this case, you don't want to take the Sanko Gyakuten signal for selling confirmations. You want to find other selling confirmations to sell. I mean, it might be, uh, for example, like a Tenkan Sen bounce, Kijun Sen bounce, or I um, mean, you know, Kumo is too thin here. The bearish Kumo is too thin. So you better wait for the Kumo to be developed more to downtrend as it goes down this way. And then you can look for sell chance somewhere here if it goes stably downtrend. But in this case, you don't wanna depend on this Kumo breakout as it might, you know, it may go up, it tries backwards. All right, so I guess um, I will be ending the live for now. Oh, XAUUSD, I already checked it, so uh, you can uh, replay. 
Um, and you can find my analysis on gold. All right, Kulan, Kayon, you're welcome. You're welcome. And Marison, thank you for the reminder, as always. So if you liked today's live stream, please press a good button before you leave so that it keeps me going. Um, this month of November, I decided to um, do the lives only on a certain days. So um, if you check the schedule, here Monday I do the live and the next timing that I do the live stream will be on Thursday and Friday. So tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, I do the video. I record a video be beforehand and I, I will upload on this YouTube channel. The upload timing will be the same as today. It's going to be uploaded on this um, 6 p.m. in Japan time, 9 a.m. in GMT. So tomorrow, uh, you, will be, you will find the video about Ichimoku N-Wave. I will exactly tell you how you can capture the wave N-Wave structures by Ichimoku. And uh, also on the 11th, I will talk about the multiple time frame analysis from the KTS strategy. So tomorrow I will focus on the Ichimoku strategy and the day after tomorrow I will focus on my own strategy of multiple time frames. And then I will see you on the live on this coming Thursday. Alright, so I hope you are having a great day today. Hopefully we catch some trends. So I heard the news that the COVID case is still increasing worldwide and I heard some European countries are under lockdown again. So I hope you and your family, your friends are all healthy and safe. So I will see you on the next one. And until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.